Do you find yourself running out of space on your laptop, or you simply don't use the optical drive anymore? Well then today I'm going to be showing you how to install a second hard drive into your laptop. In order to install a second hard drive, you will need a small Phillips screwdriver, a hard drive caddy for your laptop, and the actual hard drive to go in it, a 2.5 inch SATA drive, and of course the laptop to install it in. Now what you're going to need to do is take your 2.5 inch hard drive and slot it into the caddy like that, making sure the SATA ports install correctly. You will notice there are going to be four screw holes which simply screw into the side of your hard drive. So take your small Phillips screwdriver and simply turn those screws so they are flush with that edge there and they screw all the way into the drive, making sure it stays nice and secure. Of course, be careful not to over tighten the screws as you don't want to damage the thread on either the screw or the hard drive. Okay, once you've done that, the hard drive should now be securely in place like that. Now you're going to need to remove the optical drive on your laptop. Most laptops will have a screw underneath you can just take out and slot the drive out. In this case of my laptop, the screw is under the keyboard. So you see me here taking out the keyboard simply just by releasing the four clips at the top there. So there's one there, another there. Careful not to damage the keys when doing this. Another there. Oh, sorry, there's five clips in this. Now I've removed the keyboard, or just sort of folded it over. See that screw there? That's the screw for the optical drive. So I'm going to unscrew that. That's nice and easy just comes out like that. Do not force any of these laptop screws, they are made of brass and they will, um, you will screw up the head on the screw if you do try and force them. Okay, so now I should just be able to simply take out the drive like that, as you can see me doing there, simply slots out, so put that somewhere safe for future use. And then this little caddy goes in place of where that hard drive just was that mini SATA slot on the back you'll notice will slot into where the drive was and allow you to use the hard drive. And simply take your screw and screw it back into where we just found it. This will secure the hard drive in place, make sure it doesn't fall out or become loose, anything like that. You don't need to do it up too tight to this as long as it's secure, it's fine. And I simply use clip the keyboard back into place. Sorry about the camera um, being a bit dodgy and focused there. And then that's it there. So that's the hard drive installed. All you need to do now is format it into the right format for your operating system. In case of Windows just do NTFS. And uh, you can use your second drive for whatever you wish to do. Now with the old optical drive, here we go. As you can see you've got a uh, mini SATA connection there. What you can do is you can either buy an external enclosure for these drives so that it slips in there and converts it to a USB cable at the other end or you can buy a USB to mini SATA adapter. So simply just a USB cable uh, with obviously a little SATA and logic board on the other end which plug into here and again it allows you to use it through USB on any PC not just that laptop. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more and uh, see you soon.